السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعزائي طلبة وطلبات الصف الثالث الإعدادي كل سنة وحضراتكم طيبين. Uh, welcome in our science program. All my best wishes for a very interesting term that fall off work and also fall off excellence inshallah azza wa The first unit in our term took about force and motion. Force and motion. I think it's a common title to you as we pass through it in the first and second breath. But of course our topics will be different in the third breath. The first topic will be motion in one direction. Motion in one direction. Before studying the motion in one direction, we have to revise some uh, information we studied in the uh, last terms. Firstly, if I want to define what's meant by motion, ماذا تعني كلمة حركة؟ ما هي الحركة؟ Motion is the change in the object location. Motion is the change in the object location or position as the time passes according to the location of another object. What does it mean? If I want to describe the motion of any moving object, such like a car, such like a person, such like a train, how can you say this? The object is moved. تعالوا نتخيل طالب قاعد جنبي. And I tell to him, please, could you close this window? What will happen? Of course, he move. He moved from its position beside me to the next position which I point to it. Then its position will be changed. So I can say that he is moved. This is the meaning of motion. So again, what's meant by motion? It is a change in the object location or position as the time passes. Of course, it's motion take a time. Maybe long, maybe short, but it take a time. So we have to get in, in our uh, definition. It is a change in the object location or position as the time passes according to the location to another object. For example, me as he was beside me. So if I want to Describe the motion. How can I describe the motion? Motion can be described by two factors. Two factors. The factor number one is the distance that the moving object got. أول عامل أقدر أوصف به الحركة هو distance. Distance that the object got. المسافة اللي بيتحركها الجسم. طب والعامل الثاني the next factor is the time taken. The time taken to cut this distance. That leads to that leads us to another concept that's called speed. Speed. So the two factors necessary for the description of motion or speed are number one, the distance that is covered by the moving body. This is number one. Number two, the time taken by the moving body to cover this distance. Such like we said, that drives us to study a next concept that's called speed. What's meant by the speed? ماذا تعني كلمة سرعة? Speed, such like any moving object, you can relate with it. انت تعملت معه. زي مين؟ سيارة ماشي بسرعة كام؟ ماشي بسرعة 80 كم per hour. What does it mean? It means that I cut a distance. This distance in a specific time. This is the meaning of our speed. So, the speed is the distance moved through unit of time. The distance of the moved object through a unit of time. So we can symbol with D 
to the distance and t for the time. So if I want to calculate it or get it as a mathematical relationship, so v equal d divided t. What is the measuring unit of, of speed? You know, of course, number one, meter per second or kilometer per hour. Let's study first example. Calculate the speed of the swimmer who swims 120 minutes, 120 meter in 60 seconds. So the speed equal distance divided time 120 meter in a 60 second. Why 60 second is in one minute? So it's equal two meter per second. Another example. A runner runs with a speed of eight meter per second. Find distance covered by the runner. Here I want to get the distance, not the speed. He gave me the speed and gave me also the time. So the solution is distance equal V times T. D equal 8 times 10 equal 80 meters. Speed can be measured by a specific device that's called speedometer. Such like you can see it in front of your of the car driver. زي بالظبط اللي حضرتك بتشوفه قدام سائق السيارة. Speedometer. جهاز قياس السرعة. And now, let's move up to another point that talk about the kinds of speed. How many types of speed? Speed can be classified into two main types. I mean it. Can be classified into two main types, which are number one, regular or uniform speed. Number two, irregular or non-uniform speed. These are the only two types of speed. Let's move up to the first type of the types of speed, which is the regular speed. Before studying the regular speed meaning and concept, ماذا تعني كلمة سرعة منتظمة؟ جسم يسير بسرعة منتظمة. ماذا يعني ذلك؟ That means that the object cut equal distances and by measuring the time taken to cut this distance I notice that it cut distances in equal periods of time it cuts these distances in equal periods of time so I can set the object move with a regular speed so let's define what's meant by the regular speed regular speed it is a change of the object position by equal distances at equal periods of time again the change of the object position by equal distances at equal periods of time whatever the distance and time short or long how can i get mathematically how can i get mathematically the value of the object move with a regular speed i can get it with the relation of v equal delta d divided delta t again v the regular speed of moving object equal delta d what's meant by delta here delta here is the equal distances that cut by the moving object so i give it the symbol delta okay what's meant by the delta t of course you know yes Huh? Excellent. Very good. The equal time taken to cut these distances. So the regular speed is delta D divided delta T. This is how to get it mathematically. كيفية حساب regular speed by this relation. 
delta D divided delta T. This is the first type of our speed. The next one is the irregular speed. Of course, if I ask you, if I ask you what is meant by the irregular speed, that's what we're going to see and discuss with it in the next session, inshallah. Sa'idna bikum, inshallah, naltaqi ala khair fi baqiyat al-dars al-awwal.